When it comes to RVing, there's no such thing as a stupid question. I'm Bailey. And I'm Nicole. And we're Bailey Goes Outside, and today we want to talk about the learning curve of getting into RVing and overcoming some things that you feel like are stupid questions. Because I know when I got started two years ago, there was a lot of small things that I felt like I should have known, and at one point I was too afraid to ask for help, and I was too afraid to ask to find out the answer. But when it comes to RVing, there's no stupid questions, and all you can do is learn, build, and grow your experience on the road because it will lead to better trips and better chances at helping other RVers. So let's get into 10 questions that we were once too afraid to ask. Yes, you can use the bathroom in your RV while you're on the road. That's one of the many benefits of traveling in an RV as it allows you to have access to a bathroom and other amenities while you're on the go. However, you need to make sure you have a safe place to pull over and enough room to open any slide outs needed. The length of time your RV propane lasts depends on several factors, including the size of your propane tank, the number and frequency of propane powered appliances you're using, the SI temperature, and even the altitude of your location. It's important to keep track of your propane levels and refill your tanks before they run out. You could also consider carrying a backup propane tank if you plan to be off the grid for an extended period of time. Many campgrounds allow pets, but it's always a good idea to check with the specific campground you plan to visit and confirm their pet policy. Some campgrounds may have restrictions on the number of pets allowed per campsite, as well as specific breed or size restrictions. The easiest way to get fuel when you're towing an RV is simply to plan ahead. Look for gas stations that are RV friendly and can accommodate your vehicle's size and height. I always keep to the outside pumps, that way I give myself the most room to pull in and pull back out. Stabilizers and leveling systems are two different things in an RV. Stabilizers are designed to reduce movement and shaking inside the RV, typically caused by people walking around or even the wind blowing against your RV. It's important to use the leveling jacks or blocks to properly level the RV when you're parked prior to extending your stabilizers. There are usually several options available to late arrivals. Many campgrounds will post instructions or a map of the campground indicating where to check in after hours. If you know in advance that you're going to be arriving late or after hours, you could call the campground ahead of time to inform them of your late arrival and ask them about their check-in procedures. There are several reasons why your RV AC might not be blowing cold air. A few of those potential causes include a dirty air filter, low refrigerant levels, a faulty compressor, dirty or clogged condenser coils, or even setting the temperature too low on a warm day. All of these can reduce the efficiency of your RV unit, so always keep up to date with maintenance. Some campgrounds have reliable and safe sources of drinking water, while others may have issues with contaminants that can affect the quality of the water. It's always a good idea to use a water filtration system to ensure that the water you are consuming is safe. Generally, RVs are safe during storms, so remember to always keep an eye on weather conditions in your area and be aware of any potential storms or severe weather. If a severe storm is approaching, seek shelter in a sturdy building or designated storm shelter, and remember to secure all loose items inside and outside the RV, including awnings, chairs, or other outdoor equipment that could be blown around by the high wind. Many RVs have a 12-volt battery system that could power basic electrical systems such as your lights, water pump, or furnace fan. However, more power-hungry appliances such as air conditioners, microwaves, or refrigerators typically require external power sources. It's important to note that using RV appliances on battery power alone can drain the battery pretty quickly, especially if the appliances are used frequently or for extended periods of time. This can result in the battery running out of power and potentially causing damage to your battery or electrical system. In conclusion, asking questions is always a great way to gain knowledge and confidence, especially when it comes to RVing. By asking questions, you can learn about your RV, its components, and how to properly maintain and use it. Don't be afraid to ask for help and always prioritize safety and proper maintenance. Thanks for watching and safe travels.